Have you ever said, I want to go to Spain? And then that same day, you're scrolling through Instagram and you get an announcement that there are tickets to go to Spain this summer when you haven't told anyone about it? This is one of the things that artificial intelligence can do. Artificial intelligence refers to the simulation of human intelligence in machines that are programmed to think like humans and mimic their actions. I talk to family and friends and most have told me that they experienced something like this. But how? How do you feel about technology knowing our each and daily news? This topic is very relevant today since there's about 1 billion active Instagram users and TikTok users and almost 3 billion Facebook users. When you think about it, where is our privacy? I saw this documentary last year called The Social Dilemma on Netflix and it was shocking to see the behinds of social media. Social Dilemma shows how any social network exploit human weaknesses by designing with something called positive irregular reinforcements in mind. How they can pursue users and influence them to do things and brainwash them to follow other people's ideals and do things out of their comfort zone. Not only can they manipulate you, but they can affect your mental health with the worry of the likes, the comments, the followers. <laughs> this is a problem. But social media also has its positive outcome to it. We can see how social media can help influencers develop their perspective on others. And they can develop their profiles, promote companies and industries, share their ideas, and can connect humans from far distances. So of course, artificial intelligence isn't all that bad. It dramatically improves the efficiencies of our workplaces and can augment human ingenuity. It is not only what they do to access our information, but what we let them do unconsciously. Because 62% of consumers are willing to submit data to artificial intelligence to have a better experience with business. So people are not being acquainted with the fact that they're letting people access their personal information just for a better experience. Artificial intelligence also provides help to help companies such as 15% of all customer service interactions globally are expected to be fully powered by 2021, last year, and one-fourth of sales teams use artificial intelligence daily. But with all this said, the main purpose that I'm trying to convey to all of you is to be aware. Artificial intelligence has a negative and a positive impact, depending on your perspective on it. As it can be seen that they're invading our privacy, but at the same time, helping us find tickets to travel to Spain. We just need to be conscious of how we deal with these platforms and how we manage our information in them. Artificial intelligence isn't something that is going to leave. It's the opposite to that. It's going to keep on expanding and growing. So we need to have that awareness and know how to deal with it.